Hey Trib, this is DCG Shack here and this is Perfecting Scratch Part 15. In this one I'm doing it on the Light Sworn matchup. As you know Light Sworns are kinda here and there, they're not a top deck seen everywhere like Tengu's are and Sam's are. Well, they're still seen, they've, I think if I'm right they've won one Nationals. But, it's still nice since they're still tier 2 and you, they can still do well if they have the right build and they can lock sack as well depending on what kind of person you get. You know what they do. Anyway, as you are, as you probably know if you've played it for a while, Light Swans, they mill their deck, they get pluses off their wills, they tribute for Celestia and stuff like that and they basically just as soon as they get enough it's like JD on field, pop field for a thousand and tag for 3k, or game, whatever. So, as you can tell, most likely you're going to need to try to stop their JD. Obviously, they'll be milling stuff like Blow Up Bulb and Plague Spreader, which means they can get a lot of pluses from that. Well, not pluses, but you can get stuff from that, synchroing, and basically do all their shenanigans. So, obviously, the main card you need to stop is JD, but these also work on other stuff, like they can make Trish relatively easily. They can make Bryo quite easily, Black I mean Black Rose the field, I think, quite easily as well. But obviously they're got a lot of choices as well. But first cards is just to stop their effects like JD popping is Vec Valor and Phoenix Chain. Phoenix Chain, like if they declare that they're using effects like pay one thousand to pop the field, Phoenix Chain it, they've paid one thousand and they don't get to pop the field and you still they can't attack with their JD as well, so really they've got 3,000 attack wall. And Valor just stops him popping if you have like a back row to actually stop him. Next is, I say, Didi Crow and Crevice of the Different Dimension. Into the Different Dimension. Basically what I use this for against them is like if they beckoning light or monster reincarnation. Like obviously if they mill JD or if they have four light swans in grave and you think they have JD in hand, obviously you can just DD crow away one of their light swans so they have three so they can't JD you. Or crevice, like if they beckoning light, select target you can remove from play their JD as well. That's won me a game in Decon quite a bit ago as well, because I DD crowed their JD when they tried to get it back, and I got rid and I managed to DD crow the other JD. Next one, Reborn Tengu. Basically, if you manage to get Reborn Tengu in turn one, wait, no, not turn one. Basically, you have Reborn Tengu. There's your first one, and you still have the other two in deck, and they summon JD. They'll basically need to pay three thousand. To get rid of all three Tengus and the, to attack the 3000 as well. So, this will basically make them pay the same amount as what you're losing. So, sometimes they don't think it's worth it, sometimes they will do it because you will they will be getting rid of the Tengus as well. But that will also get them down to a lot of life points, especially if they're paying some Judgment and Solemn Warning as well. So, it's really hard for them to be able to pay all 3000. Next, Royal Oppression. Basically, just to stop their JDs half from coming out, you can stop their wolves, their milling, stuff like that. But obviously, you if you're playing scraps, you'll have to basically try to play this smartly, because otherwise they can oppression your dragon and then probably oppression this thing after. So one six to destroy your dragon and the thing that's going to come back. Next card, Mind Crush. Basically, I'm thinking of what I'm thinking of this is. They play Gold Sark. When they get it, Mind Crush it. Beckoning Light. They add stuff from Graveyard to hand. Mind Crush whatever they add that's the most threat. And obviously, Monster Reincarnation if they play that as well. Do that. Or if they summoned Honest, beat you for 1100 and then returned it to hand, you can Mind Crush Honest as well. And obviously, last but not least, the one everyone used, everyone, a lot of people used to side against them, Light Imprisoning Mirror. This will basically stop all their effects, 
um, feel angry, so they, and also you can't get their wills because it activates in grave and JD can't pop. But if they bring out JD, you've pretty much got a 3000 beat stick that doesn't mill. But at least you can stall against it, they can't just keep popping the field and attacking you for 3000. That's a few sideboard cards you can use. Obviously, you can use um, stuff like Thunder King to stop their charge. But obviously, since um, it's just one card, sure they rely on it, but they also mill a lot, so they could mill that away, meaning your Thunder King's gone. But also, you could use that to stop them basically just become one one nine beat that tramples over a lot most of their stuff. Other than Wolves and Celestias and JD. Unless they play that big dragon thing. But that's not usually seen in a JD deck. JD deck. It's pretty much JD deck. Lightsworn deck. So and the other thing I suppose you could try is Mask of Restrict to stop them tribute summoning their Celestias if you know they play free. And that's pretty much it. You can always but these tend to be the main cards you could try to use against them. Obviously some judgment on one works against their JDs as well, but that those should be main decks anyway. So that shouldn't matter anyway. Anyway, see you YouTube.